Moon Jae-in. Moon Jae-in is the current president of South Korea. Moon was elected after the impeachment of his predecessor, Park Jin-hai, a former student activist, human rights lawyer, and chief of staff. To then-president Roh Moo-hyun, Moon once served as the leader of the Minjo Party of Korea and a member of the 19th National Assembly. He was also the Democratic United Party's candidate in the 2012 presidential election in which he lost narrowly to Park Jin-hai. Early Life and Education Born in Jiyoye, South Korea, Moon Jae-in was the first son among five children of father Moon Yong Hyung and mother Kang Han O K. His father was a refugee from South Ham Gyeong province who fled his native city of Hamhung during the Hamhung retreat. His family eventually settled in Busan, and Moon attended Kyung Nam High School. He enrolled in Kyung Hee University where he majored in law. He was arrested, convicted, and imprisoned, and expelled from the university after he organized a student protest against the Yushin Constitution. Later, he was conscripted into the military and assigned to the South Korean Special Forces, where he participated in Operation Paul Bunyan during the Axe murder incident. After his discharge, he passed the bar exam and was admitted to the Judicial Research and Training Institute. He graduated second in his class but was not admitted to become a judge or government prosecutor due to his history of activism against the Yushin dictatorship under Park Chung-hee's rule as a student. Moon chose to become a lawyer instead. Human Rights Attorney After becoming a lawyer, he partnered and worked with future President Roh Moo Hyun. They remained friends up until Roh's suicide in 2009, along with Roh. He took cases involving human rights and civil rights issues. He was a member of Min Bayan and the chairman of Human Rights at Busan Bar. ROH Mu Hyun Administration Due to Roe's insistence, Moon became Roe's campaign manager during his presidential bid. After Roe's victory, Moon became Roe's chief of staff and close aide. His roles in Roe's administration included 2003 February 2004, senior presidential secretary for Civil Affairs in May 2004 January 2005, Senior Presidential Secretary for Civil Society January 2005 May 2006, Senior Presidential Secretary for Civil Affairs March 2007 February 2008, Chief Secretary of the President August 2007, Chairperson of the Promotion of the Second North-South Korea Summit when prosecutors began investigating Roe's corruption charges, Moon was the legal counsel to ROH. After ROH committed suicide, Moon was in charge of the funeral and handling his private affairs. His exposure to the public as a poised and trustworthy aide impressed the public and many liberals in Korea found Moon to be an attractive candidate against the conservative Sare Nuri Party candidate Park Jin-hai. Entrance to politics Despite his earlier indifference, he began to get involved in politics. He published a memoir called Moon Jae Inc. The Destiny which became a bestseller. His popularity had been rising steady against the likely opponent in the presidential race, Park Jin-hai. For instance, in a February 2012 poll, Moon managed to gain parity with Park in popularity. Moon managed to capitalize on the conservatives' decline in popularity amid a series of corruption scandals. As one pundit said, Moon had managed to portray himself as a moderate and rational leader who has the backing of the younger generation. 
2012 general election. In 2012, Moon entered a bid for a seat in the National Assembly in the 20th legislative election. Moon won a seat in the Sasang district of Busan on the 11th of April 2012 as a member of the Democratic United Party with 55% of the vote. 2012 Presidential Campaign on September 16, 2012, Moon received the presidential nomination for the Democratic United Party. He ran for the 2012 presidential election as the Democratic United Party's candidate in a three-way race against Park Jian-hai, the incumbent ruling party's candidate and daughter of the late President Park Chung-hee, as well as independent software mogul An chi Su. On dropped out of the race, and endorsed Moon after polls showed a most likely definitive loss for both candidates were there to be a three-way race against Park. Moon went to lose the election. Leader of the Opposition Moon was elected as the leader of New Politics Alliance for Democracy on February 2, 2015. Moon's leadership led former NPAD party leader and 2012 presidential candidate rival An chi Su to quit and form the Centrist People's Party. An's departure, and Moon's new tenure as party leader led to the newly renaming the Liberal Party as the Democratic Party. During his leadership, Moon scouted several politically prominent people including police studies, criminology expert Pio Chang Wan, political critic Li Chul He, and notably former President Park's secretary Cho Ung Chun, to prepare for upcoming South Korean legislative election 2016. After his recruitment, Moon resigned his position for another scouted advisor, former Park advisor Kim Chong In. 2017 presidential election Moon was considered the front-runner to win Korea's 2017 presidential election following the impeachment of President Park Jin-hai. He won the Minjo Party's nomination against fellow party members An Hee-young, Lee Jae-myung, and Choi Sung with 57% of the votes. The general election originally had 15 announced candidates. Moon faced four other major party nominees during the election, including 2012 presidential rival and past party colleague An chi Ol Su of the People's Party and Hong Jun Pio of the Liberty Korea Party. He was elected the 19th president of South Korea in the 2017 presidential election by a large plurality over two other major opponents, conservative Hong Joon Pio and centrist An chi Ol Su. On May 10, 2017, Moon ended his campaign by winning 41.1% votes to win the plurality to become the next president of South Korea. Presidency Moon was sworn into office immediately after official votes were counted on May 10, replacing acting president and prime minister Hwang Kyo An. There was no transition period between the election and inauguration, unlike other presidential elections due to the nature of an election following a presidential impeachment. He will serve out the typical single five-year term with his presidential term concluding in 2022. Education Moon's predecessor and daughter of Park Chung-hee, Park Jian-hai, originally planned to mandate usage of state-issued history textbooks in 2018. Moon reversed these plans in May 2017 in one of his first major acts as president. Critics of Park's original plan saw this as a way for Park to mitigate some representations of her father's oppressive policies under a dictatorial rule, only highlighting the positive accomplishments of the past. Park had stated she wanted 
to replace the left-leaning books with those created from the government that would instill greater patriotism. Although the Park government had switched its official position on requiring the textbooks and allowed schools to choose the state-issued version from the backlash, Moon's action scrapped the program altogether. Schools will continue to choose privately published government-approved textbooks written under educational guidelines instead. National Security Moon came out in favor of repealing Korea's national security laws, which have been alleged by the Korean liberals to be a tool of the historically right-wing establishment of South Korea to restrict and oppress national intelligence service in order to maintain their political neutrality, transferring domestic affairs to the police force. Foreign policy Moon has favored a peaceful reunification between the two Koreas. He was both widely criticized and widely praised for his comments stating that his first visit if elected president would be to visit North Korea, a visit that would be not unlike R.O.H. Mu Hyun's visit to the country in 2007. Similarly, Moon's foreign policy towards North Korea is considered to closely align with the sunshine policy embraced by former liberal presidents Kim Dae-young and R.O.H. Mu Hyun. His 2017 presidential campaign has supported reopening of the Kaesong Industrial Park. Moon's relatively liberal stance in foreign policy is reflected in his writing in a book, I'm pro-US but now South Korea should adopt diplomacy in which it can discuss a US request and say no to the Americans. He opposes a rebalance of the security alliance with the United States but has also stated that he would like South Korea to be able to take the lead on matters on the Korean peninsula. At the same time, Moon has stated that he considers America as a friend for its role in helping South Korea avoid communism while helping its economic growth. Economic Policy Moon's campaign promise in 2017 included intentions to put a 10 trillion won fiscal stimulus to support job creation, startups, and small to mid sized companies. His announced goal is to create 810,000 public sector jobs through raising taxes on the wealthy. Moon's policy against corporate corruption, specifically in regards to Korean conglomerates in Shebels is to give minority shareholders more power in electing board members of the companies. Transparency Moon also promised transparency on his presidency, moving the president residence from palatial and isolated Blue House to an existing government complex in downtown Seoul. Social values In a televised presidential debate, Moon the said he opposes homosexuality, in response to conservative candidate Hong Jun Pius remarks that gay soldiers were a source of weakness in the Korean military. Moon's remark prompted immediate criticism during the debate from Sim Sang Young the sole presidential candidate to support LGBT rights and a member of the leftist Justice Party. The remark also prompted outrage from gay rights activists. Considering Moon's representation as the leading liberal candidate and former human rights lawyer, some of Moon's supporters dismissed the comments as a necessity to win, as South Korea tends to the conservative side in social issues. Moon later clarified his comments suggesting he still believes there should be no discrimination based on one's sexual orientation. Family Moon married Kim Young Sook, a vocalist from the same university he attended. He 
and Kim both individually revealed in separate Korean talk shows that Moon met his wife as a student activist. Religion He is currently the second Roman Catholic leader after the late former President Kim Dae-young, and his baptismal name is Timothy. Nicknames He is also called Dark King, because he resembles Silver's Rayleigh, a character from the Japanese manga series One Piece. Mr. Moon is his other famous nickname. His family name doesn't refer to the moon, but he was given this planet nickname because of his English romanization. Thank you for watching. Please